what we have here is this gentleman powering this grinder with this VFD and this VFD is going to explode. Now it's a small explosion because the capacitors are of course housed internally. What's more appalling is the fact that this individual disregarding his own safety, disregarding anyone's safety in the shop, also then decides to work on the VFD trying to correct the issue and we get the same outcome for a second time. So I'm going to try to keep this video as short as possible. Once again, there is a lot to discuss here. So I'm going to hit play, show you guys exactly what's going on. Uh, there is music in the background, so I did mute the video, so there's no real noise. But we can plainly see exactly what's going on with uh, what actually is done. So I'm going to hit play now. We'll just pay attention to the VFD. There you go. There's the immediate capacitor pop. And this individual then goes back. And now he's on his workbench. And guys, just to highlight this, when we see something like this, and you can see the capacitor is basically shot, first of all, why anyone would try to disassemble this unit is terrifying to me. These are three-phase output. You can see he's got his Weller soldering iron here. If one of these capacitors is still charged, this individual could be lethally shocked to death. And we don't know what time frame went on to discharge a capacitor. So, again, this is a complete disregard or complete ignorance to safety. Not only for him, potentially his family, but also other individuals in the shop. So, again, we've got to be very careful with this. And truth be told, this is really what warranties are to be used for in the event something like this happens. Now, of course, we don't know the backstory of why this happened when it actually popped the unit but let's say it wasn't the end user's fault naturally we just make a warranty claim and we're good as I hit play here you'll see him he's reviewing everything see our MOSFETs everything here he's starting to begin soldering and one thing I want to point out right now is when you're working on circuit boards guys you should always be using flux not that he should be working on this at all once again I want to make that point explicitly clear Regarding your background in electronics, whoever you may be, if you're watching this video, I do not recommend ever working on a three-phase output VFD. Um, again, this individual is doing this, not only soldering uh, in terms of trying to repair the unit, but he's not using the proper materials in terms of tooling, and I consider flux a proper tooling to use with solder to do these joints correctly if he was to repair them at all, which again, I don't recommend.